David Bissett and his family like to know where their food comes from. Of course, fresh eggs. I mean, how can you beat that? That's not the only reason they raise chickens. Their 11 birds provide fertilizer for the vegetable gardens and help rid the yard of bugs. Bissett says they're also a lot of fun. And I wanted my children to be able to experience that same kind of joy from chickens that I had as a kid as well. But the Bissets don't live on a farm. They live on Main Street, right in the heart of town. Raising backyard chickens is something fellow Wake Forest resident Emily Cole wants to try out. Once I decided that I wanted chickens and my husband was also on board, um, we had to go through a process with the town to, to get a permit. That turned out to be not so easy. To get a permit for chickens or any other animal considered livestock in town limits, you have to get written approval from every neighbor within 500 feet of your home. For the Cole family, that meant seeking approval from 37 different neighbors, and some of them were not happy with the idea. I mean, not uh, in, in the middle of people's front yards and running around in, the, in neighborhoods. I think you should uh, stick to the farms. But Emily Cole says if she can't convince the neighbors, her next step is to ask the town to rewrite its ordinance. Chickens should be able to um, be in someone's backyard just the way a cat or a dog would. Now she hopes birds of a feather will flock together and people will sign her petition in support of changing the chicken rules. In Wake Forest, Carrie Hall, NBC 17 News.